what's going on guys we are back with some more mlb the show we know a variety of things can contribute to a player's success at any level of baseball but what about channeling emotion god knows what that is shit <laughs> every of course ready to go now here's kyle tucker the wind of the pitch that's in for a strike at 95. And this one is off and running. That one fouled off. Righty delivers. And that's in the dirt. The pitch to Tucker. He's fouled away. The pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. One ball, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Got him. Started after it, appeal to third, and he couldn't hold back. He's rung up on strikes. Now it's Alex Bregman. <sighs> and that is in for a strike, going one. Singy, this guy was a shortstop most of his life. He's transitioned very nicely to third base. And the power has come at the major league level. That misses. Ball two. Yeah, and one thing, even though we don't see a whole lot of bunning these days, I've always been impressed with how he's been able to make that play up the third base line and throw firm to first to get the out. Next pitch is outside. Next offering is foul back. And a payoff pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. One down, base is empty. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Payoff pitch. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. Grinding A-B right here, about to see pitch number 10. Good plate appearance there, able to take the walk. When you go that deep into it at bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. You're Don Alvarez, in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that one wrapped foul. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there, just couldn't catch up. Next offering is foul back. Bregman leads off first with one away. Got him. And a miss, and he got him. Two away. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Well, they're really running up the pitch count in this first inning. Lots of confidence from this team that is perhaps the hottest in baseball right now. The next offering misses, and it's two and two. Got Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. One left for Houston. Now it'll be the Reds' turn. Top of the second, and stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Pena. In for a strike, strike one. For all the big postseason hits Jeremy Pena has come up with, remember, he replaced a gold glove shortstop at Carlos Correa, and then in his first year, won the gold glove himself. God, God looking. looking for the K. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Next offering is foul back. Yeah, and that can be a challenge sometimes for the younger players, Boog. They're really good at the... You know, exceptional, extraordinary type of play, but the routine plays is where they tend to rack up those errors, but not the case for Jeremy Pena. Just cool, calm, that and collected. High and deep. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Makes the catch for the out. And next to hit for Houston, Yaner Diaz. 
First off, bring it just misses. He swings and fouls one off. <laughs> Is two and one. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is fouled back. Second inning here, no score. The pitch. Three two oh. now. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And Got him. Swing and a miss, and that's that. I think the key is arm action on the chain. <laughs> Top half of the third inning. Here's Corey Lee. And first offering is fouled off. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown oh, inning. Difficult. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. And Got swing and a miss. Down on strikes. One up, one down. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And here is Jake Myers. Here comes the 0-1. Just missed. I've seen worse calls than I'm And now <laughs> one and two. Two strikes. Got him looking. The strike out looking. Flip the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. Quite the start to this game on the mound. <coughs> very dangerous to these hitters. Seven punch outs already. So this lineup hasn't had much success. <coughs> figure him out. I'm impressed with what we're seeing here. And yeah, the batter now, Kyle Tucker. Got room, got room, got room. Smith makes the catch, and that'll do it. Astros. Back here at Great American Ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Alex Bregman. That pitch in for a strike. Strike one. Bregman, who had a great career at LSU. He was the second overall pick in 2015. He wears that number on his back, number two. And Singy, he was a big Derek Jeter fan growing up. The batter, the designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. Alvarez in the box now. No balls and a strike. Not what he's looking for there in the OO count. Looks like he wants the ball down in the zone. Next offering is in for a strike. Oh, Boog, a lot of guys would love to be taken in the first round and second overall, but Alex Bregman seems to have carried that as a chip on his shoulder over the years, not being the number one pick overall. And he's played in such a way where he's always trying to show people that he's the best, and it's translated on both sides of the ball. That misses the zone, and it's 3-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Pulled the string of the changeup. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. I'm not gonna, I was gonna hit him. And that's in there for strike one. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been oh, able right to down. stay down. That's what's been key. The Astros still looking for their first hit in this one. Sure. Rips that one to right. Hendrick makes the play. And now <clears throat> back here in Cincinnati. Here's a speed threat. Jeremy Pena. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. Conforto in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. And I'll start 2017. Ground ball, left Plus side. The ground. Zips it across, so the first and the first time. two set down on the top of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another hey. ground ball. Good execution. Diaz batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Right side, hard hit. He Plus takes it hurt. on his own, 
And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Nothing. And welcome back. <coughs> All right, we go to the top <coughs> half of inning number six. Here's the catcher, Corey Lee. That's in for a strike. Lee, in his second season, 25 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. Snags it on the run. And there's one away. And first offering is fouled off. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. The 0 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The Strohs yet to pick up a hit here. Next pitch is outside. One and two to count. It really feels like we might be running out of time before a rain delay is called. This rain is not letting up. Yeah, and if we do get a delay, the unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they sure. won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break, and <clears> we're going to have to exit this game a little early. <coughs> Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. Just a solid swing right there. <coughs> out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Hats and misses. It's a strikeout. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but Kyle you're Tucker. in high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improvement. And there's the third out. That'll do it. We go to the top of the seven. Here's Jordan Alvarez. <laughs> That one in there across the letters. Well, they kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And the 0-2. Ball one there. Talk about the right guy at the right spot. They really need a rally, and this guy is someone you can believe in to find a way to get on base. Next one is off the play, and it's two and two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. The pitch out there, down on strikes. And he knew it. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout. And this one looking, obviously. So he's been a little over. Oh, that one's behind him. Oh, and now some words being exchanged at the plate. And he's not okay with how that last pitch looked. Yeah, that's a scary one. And it's not often you see a pitcher. At the oh, that got him. Well, right now he's thinking, man, I wish that would have been an off-speed pitch, but bat, instead of fastball, and you can tell that hurts a little bit. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. Pena getting better against right-handers this year, so some reverse splits there. Altuve over at first with one away. And safe. It's a stolen base. That one ripped Shit. left field. It one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Run comes in from second, and now just a two-run deficit. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner. T.J. Antone gets the call from the pen. Shit. That's why you don't get petty. Okay. Anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Hope you and have a good one. And I'm out. Bye.